Hello YouTube, I am Lightly Salted and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to our continuing refresh of the U-Boat tutorial series. Today is a little bit more of a tips and tricks video, given that it's the new year, I thought we'd go ahead and start a new game. This will be the way I start my games. I won't go so far as to say that this is the absolute best way to start your game, however this is the way that I find to be most effective. This method should allow you to maximize your monetary value in that you won't be spending as much budget as the game wants you to, as well as making sure that you are using all of the resources at your disposal. So let's go ahead and jump in. And here we are in a new game. Very first thing that I like to do is hit the pause button. And the reason for that is uh, your, your officer is going to be doing some stuff, and we definitely don't want to give Mr. Watcher the opportunity to be loading any torpedoes. The reason for that is uh, you're going to have a few T2s aboard, and of course, you'll see here in the top right, you've got a link to the reason why I think T2s are terrible. So we don't want him loading those in the tubes, because once they're actually in the tubes, it makes it pretty difficult to get rid of. Let's go ahead and grab Mr. Watcher, and we're going to head on back here to the workshop. And the reason for that is, of course, in our storeroom, we have 10 scrap metal parts. So we're going to go ahead and make use of those parts by uh, building some spare parts. While he's doing that, I'm going to have Mr. Hagenow head off to the storeroom and move these 40 large caliber HE rounds directly to the deck gun. We don't want them eating up space in our storeroom. We'll go ahead and hit transfer yes, and we're going to give him two helpers. That's going to make it go a little bit faster for us, not too much so, but it'll do. Now something you want to keep in mind, now that somebody is doing something in the storeroom, you don't want to re-engage the storeroom. Uh, you don't want to tell anybody else to head off and do something in the storeroom, either take something out or put something in. Reasoning for that is I found that for whatever reason, it prevents other people from doing their jobs. Uh, Mr. Hagnow here would actually stop what he's doing if I sent anybody else to the storeroom. So to keep on maximizing what we're doing, we're going to grab Mr. Oldorp here, our chief engineer. We're going to head up front to the cabin cabinet. We'll open that up and give him a rebreather. Perfect. And since we're still on pause, we're going to grab our skipper here, head off to the warehouse. We're going to unpause the game at this point. We'll jump on in here and head straight to our torpedoes. We want to get rid of these T2s, and that's going to give us the bonus of uh, making 400 budgets per. So we'll sell those off, and there's going to be one in the stern and we'll get rid of that as well. We'll pop a T1 back here, and of course the T1s are free in B128, and we'll go ahead and grab some more nice free T1s. We'll go ahead and maximize our fuel load, and we'll jump on over to food. Now you're gonna start with uh, 50 bread, and of course bread is free, so we're just gonna go ahead and fill that tile, make it a maximum of 100. And you're going to want to take, uh, normally you'll, you'll be given the choice of either some fruits or some vegetables. Go ahead and grab as many as you can afford. Which is going to be all of them because you've got a whole lot of budgets now. So we just spent $1,280 on bananas. Uh, the reason for that is that I found that um, every now and again you can run into the dreaded tuberculosis bug. And what that means is uh, your crew can sometimes end up with tuberculosis. And for whatever reason, it never goes away. You just stay sick forever. I'm not sure what the reasoning behind that. I, I, I don't, I've seen a lot of people run into it. It's just something that happens. Don't worry about it too much. Um, having fruits or veg on board tends to prevent that from happening for whatever reason, even if you don't feed it to the crew, like it's not in the galley. So again, your mileage may vary there. Other side of having fruit and veg aboard, of course, is the fact that you can run into those uh, few missions where they send you off to replenish a stricken sub somewhere in the ocean, another allied U-boat, and you're going to want to give them six either fruit or vegetable. So we'll say goodbye here at the warehouse. Uh, Mr. Hagnow here is performing the task we asked him to. He's got his helpers right here loading up the deck gun, and Mr. Watcher is back here building us some spare parts. So what we're going to want to do now is fast forward at times five. You don't want to hit the U-boat is off duty two days and skip, and the reason for that is uh, a lot of times the game sort of loses track of what you were trying to do in the first place. So what's going to happen is, is Mr. Hagnow is going to leave a few rounds sitting here in the storeroom. And unless you know that's happening, you're not going to know that not all the rounds have been moved, so on and so forth. So we're just going to go ahead and hit times five until that's complete. 
Okay, Mr. Hagnow has completed his task. That's great. Thanks very much for that, Mr. Hagnow. Now that he's no longer messing about in the storeroom, we're going to go ahead and grab uh, Mr. Osterman. He's going to be our medic, of course. And we're going to give him those first aid kits. Perfect. Thank you. Once he's picked those up, we're going to get some more stuff done here. Mr. Watcher is still diligently working at uh, building us some replacement parts. All right, Mr. Osterman's done his thing. Now Mr. Oldorp is going to jump back here to the storeroom. And we're going to go ahead and give him these five spare parts. Since they're in his possession, it gives us some a little free space here in the storeroom. Plus, uh, then you don't have to worry too much about uh, uh, performing repairs. Go ahead and keep advancing time. Fantastic. Mr. Watcher has completed his task, so let's go ahead and jump back into the storeroom and give him the four spare parts that he has just built for us. Once he's grabbed those, we're going to head to the Ford Cabin Cabinet and pick him up that rebreather. You start with two. Perfect. And then once he's grabbed that, we're going to go ahead and let him load up torpedoes. All right, Mr. Hagnow is going to head over here to the Cabin Cabinet and grab his helmet, his dapper little headgear. Because, as anybody who's seen my Let's Plays before, I tend to use Mr. Hagnow as my gunnery expert. Now we can finally go ahead and skip uh, the two days here, get our torpedoes aboard. We'll grab our skipper, jump back in the warehouse. And as you can see here, we've still got some space for some more free T1s. Good stuff. Okay, so we started the game with 6,000 budgets, and now we still have 6,300 after purchasing some fuel and some food, which is great, so now we're actually ahead of the game. And with that 6,300 budgets, you are of course free to pick up any additional uh, equipment that you might require. Um, I would recommend not worrying too much about ammo, as we've got tons in the deck gun, and of course, 4,000 rounds for the flak is more than enough for a few patrols. Uh, you could pick up a, a little bit of additional food if you really felt like it. You could go ahead and just keep on filling up with free bread. That'll keep you going for, uh, for those long voyages. Um, I would recommend, if you tend to spend a, do a lot of sneaky sneak ninja style attacks, maybe a little more coffee for your hydrophone operators. Uh, other than that, spare parts are never a bad idea. I wouldn't bother too much with uh, spare med packs, uh, first aid kits. Ordinarily, they don't come in all that handy. But then again, uh, depending on your play style, your mileage may vary. Okay, folks, that was really quick there. Uh, that was just me letting you all know how I start the game. I've had a few questions as to, uh, as to what I consider the best way of starting out is. Um... And again, this may not be the absolute greatest way to, uh, to, to use your hard-earned time and money. However, I find that if I'm starting the game with additional items and additional budget, uh, and no real need of anything else, I think this is going to go pretty well. Uh, you do still have that extra 300 plus the 6,000 you started with. So again, you're ahead of the game. Alright folks, a uh, real quick one this time around. Again, more of a tips and tricks than a tutorial. If you enjoyed the content today, go ahead and hit like, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, I have been Lightly Salted. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.